Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza and welcome to my channel, Sophie Stained Glass. Way too many videos about architectural glass. Well, not really if you're as interested in it as I am. And if you know me from watching my videos, you know I live and breathe stained glass, which is why I am particularly excited about today's video. Um, I am going to be experimenting with a somewhat mythical beast, that is, a gas soldering iron, because although they were standard once upon a time, they're quite rare these days, because I've been trying to find someone to go and visit to look at a gas soldering iron, couldn't find one, so I contacted the manufacturer. Um, e. Partridge and Son, they've been around since the 19th century. Um, this is what it looks like, it arrived today, hence my great excitement. Um, I'm gonna be setting it up on camera, and um, you can watch and learn with me. It's not so much a, a tutorial as, oh, how does this work? Um, but we'll figure it out and um, then we'll give it a go. So yeah, stay tuned. So when you buy a gas soldering iron, you're essentially buying this. Um, this is the regulator because it lets in more or less amount of air into the gas which flows through this um, pipe here. Basically, it heats up this, and this is the this is the tip of the soldering iron here. Um, so this bar heats up. You're holding this nice wooden handle here, and you're regulating the temperature here. Um, so that's what you're buying when you buy this. It's called an all-day gas soldering iron. You will also need to arm yourself with some propane. So that's my canister there. Um, I was able to just take this out of my camper van, which is quite convenient. You need a regulator, you need a tube, and you need some Jubilee clips. These came with um, the kit, but you need a special pincer, which I don't have, so I've, I, I'm just gonna use regular Jubilee clips. Um, that's, that's the regulator box. So the first thing we're going to do is attach the regulator. And I don't know whether you can see, but it, it tightens the opposite way to what you might expect. Right. So that's that. Um, so I'll be opening and closing it here. Now, you have to slip this over the end first, and then you have to wiggle it on. So, you saw me struggling to get the end of the hose onto the nozzle there. So I have warmed it up. Oh! <laughs> well, that did the trick. So there you go. Don't struggle like I did. Just put it in some nearly boiling water. Okay, other end. This one's still a bit tricky. So there's another top tip, which is a little bit of soap. So let's see if that will help. Yep, 
Yes, that's got it. So that way you'll get the best possible fit. Don't think you can really have these too tight, these Jubilee clips. Right, so I am about to have lift off. I have to really check that these seals are okay. So I've got some soapy water. Um, I don't know if these matches are gonna work. Yay, how exciting. Okay, so turn the regulator on, or valve on rather. Right, there we go, lift off. Ooh, so exciting. Now, that is this, this here is how you regulate temperature. So that will make it hotter. Now I'm just gonna turn it up while I get it to temperature. And while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna check I've got no bubbles coming out my soapy water. Yeah, that looks all right. So the first thing you have to do with any new soldering iron is to tin the tip. So I've got my, my, my tinning here. I've got my little test set up. Now that I've got this on camera, I'm just gonna move it a little bit further away from the flame. Now this will take a little while to heat up. Um, I've, I'm, I'm using um, one of these fold-out stands, but I've doubled it up because it's quite quite heavy, and it's just sort of whoop, sinking otherwise. Um, got my solder. Not sure how hot this is going to get. After a while, I've been advised this will get hot. So I've got some grosers just to, to do that. Right, if I dip it in the tinner now, yeah, having to use quite a lot of pressure there, so I should just leave it on the stand a bit longer this is 50 50 solder and behind me I've got my doors wide open because the advice is uh, well ventilated space um. I don't know, let's see. Whoop! We have lift off. Let's just turn it down a bit and see how far we go before we lose temperature. Oh, very nice this. done this just makes me so happy I'm very easily pleased perhaps right I should lay that to rest uh, while I reposition the camera for a slightly more challenging test I'm gonna turn turn it up for this bit 
because um, this is one inch lead meeting one inch lead because I wanted to try a long joint. If you're wondering why I'm waving this about, it's because the hose... Now, I'm not getting a very nice joint, but it's, it's pitting, and that's because this is not very nice lead. It's old lead. And I, I made a sort of half asked attempt at cleaning it up. But I was too excited. So I didn't do a very good job. But what I did want to try, which I've just succeeded in doing, I did want to try um, bridging a gap, um, which it was quite successful at. Um, so yeah, I like that. Um, although obviously, I'm slightly distracted by the horrible pitting. Which is what happens if your lead isn't properly clean. So, I think I might try some more experiments over here. It just all seems to have gone too well. It ought to have been more difficult than this. I've just flipped this over. Flip these nails out of the way. I'm just going to see. This is on on its highest temperature. So I'm just going to see how likely I am to melt the lead. Yeah, that's melted. So that is too high. Um, I've got a bit of wire wool here. Um, because I have been advised by Sid at Partridge and Son that if you melt the lead your solder will become too lead rich and um, best to clean it off right let's see if this is cooled sufficiently no that's still melting it I'll just leave it a minute I get impatient right let's see if that's cooled down enough Still melting the lead really badly. Right, let's close it right off. So you can see the difference in the flame there. But I need to let it cool a bit longer. So obviously the first time I soldered this strip, the iron hadn't heated up sufficiently to melt it. Um, so it really is a trial and error thing with the regulator. Well, when I say regulator, it's not actually regulator. Yeah, that's melting it like crazy. Right, interesting. I'm gonna shut it off completely. And better not melting it at all now so actually I think the way to go is probably yeah that's much more controllable and look at that isn't that a beautiful thing look at it lovely see I can't get a result as nice as that with my electric soldering iron let's try it from here again Oh wow. Oh we like that. Yes. Oh my my joints are gonna really improve. Um Yes. Very nice. Okay, we're happy with that. Very happy with that. 
so wasn't that interesting um, just to recap these were the joints I did when I first turned the iron on and I had the flame up to its hottest but the tip hadn't got to temperature yet so these all went beautifully flipped it over and they all melted which tells me I need a cooler iron so I tried it again by doing this long joint here and I turned the iron down to its coolest by closing off this little valve here which by the way gets hot while it's working so I'm not going to touch it but it, it opens it lets more and less air in um, so I turned it right down actually and um, I got this beautiful long joint and it didn't melt the lead at all and just to double check that I tried it on another piece oh yeah I tried it on the other side so what I found was once I'd got it to temperature then turn it right down um, I really like it I really really like it um, and um, there isn't really that much information out there about these gas soldering irons I don't even know if anyone except E Partridge is making them um, Sid at E Partridge is so helpful he's so friendly um, you know he's given me lots of advice and tips and helped me along the way with this and um, so I thank him for that and um, I'll put a link down below um, all day soldering iron yeah um, now you know so thank you for watching and please like comment and subscribe